Alright guys, here's the update from the garage here on the old hydro track. Um, got my new muffler on here. I changed this out because the other one was sitting here and it was uh, blowing on the hood and discoloring it and burning it and stuff. So I put this one on here for now and uh, put the air cleaner assembly back on with the air cleaner. So I had it running earlier and I adjusted the carb to work with the air cleaner. And if you'll notice, I got more stuff torn off because... I addressed this uh, clutch issue today. That bracket, this bracket, you can see, it's all worn out that bushing in there. So I popped that sucker out and I had this one here off of that 66 that I was parting out like years ago. I think that's the last part off that tractor. But that one was nice and tight, so I put that in there. Um, got the other pulley on it. And I found out the reason why they didn't have the either pulley on it is because the other belt they had on there, the drive belt, was way too short, so it wouldn't work. So, and swapping out the drive belt for that other 79 inch I bought when I bought the one for that hydro. So that worked out pretty good. So I got that in there. I'm um, just basically fixing stupid stuff, guys. They had this was all screwed up. They had this spring for the clutch going up to the battery tray and not over to that so I've been working on it got everything adjusted straightened out everything's in line now you can see clutch works not too bad nice and tight in there so this new bracket's all I needed got it straightened out got the pulley on or the new belt on it and it come under here and uh, take this back side apart so I can get the belt off so the screws are stripped out on the fan, so I put some new screws in there. One was broke off. I ain't worried about it, but I cleaned up the fan. Got that back on after the belt. Started cleaning some garbage out of those fins. Um, no. Another thing I did, I grabbed this old drag link out of the attic that I had on the orange 68. And I swapped that out because... This is worse than I thought, guys. They either got it all wired up on there. And then they also got a piece of garden hose holding it on the top. So, yeah, I'm going to be taking that off and putting the other one on. I'll adjust it out and put some jam nuts on it to hold it. But, uh, yeah, I can't drive around like that. So, And then the last thing I did, I put the 69 hydro track seat on there and put the other one out by the street. And Mr. Jose just took it, so thank you, sir. Uh, scrap metal guy. So I got this one on here for now. Try to get another seat. So that's pretty much it, guys. She update on the old hydro. <coughs> Oops. Yeah. And some other odds and ends. I uh, brought some of these parts down off the 72. I'm going to put them on there. Like the battery hold down, the pulley cover, starter generator cover. Uh, this belt, and the last thing I want to change out is this. Put this on here because this one, when I had it off yesterday, let's see if I can get it. Like this one's broke off, this one had crack in it, and this hole is all worn out. So this thing is pretty much toast. So I'm going to take all this off, put the good one on, run a belt, and that way I can put the little screen back on and then. Put the starter generator cover on there off the 72. Um, oh, and I also got this down. This is off the uh, bad hydro motor under there. So that'll be on there for the generator cover. And that's pretty much it, guys. Just pop the battery tray off. Got some new bolts in there, ready to go. Wiring looks pretty decent. So. That's the update from here, guys. I'll get another one when I get it running, so I will talk to you later.